everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nia aka Alien in Disguise and today I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine and I'm also kind of going to be giving an update about my life and why I went missing for seven months. So if you guys didn't already know, I moved to Japan about five months ago. So yeah, I've been living in here and I really wanted to wait until I was like comfortable with my new area and I had a lot more free time before I started recording again, but now I feel like I'm in a good position, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more videos sometime soon. So anyway, yeah, I'm in Japan. I am just about maybe an hour from Nagoya, so it's really nice. I really am enjoying it. So yeah, let's get into the makeup tutorial. So please just ignore my terrible skin right now. I've been having like a lot of stress at work, so I have a lot of breakouts right now. So please just ignore it. So first, the contact lenses that I'm wearing are from a brand called Colors. They might only be available in Japan. I got them at the Eon Mall, which is kind of like the Walmart of Japan. Next, moving on to skincare. I just came out of the shower, so my skin is really dry. So I'm gonna start with a toner. I'm gonna be using the AC Cleanup Toner, and this was actually one of the first skincare items that I used, if you remember from like one of my really early videos. But this just helps my skin feel really nice, and it really helps with my breakouts. So next, I'm going to be using actually another toner. This time I'm going to be using the Nature Republic Bee Venom Toner. I don't know what it is about bee venom, but it always makes my skin just feel really nice and it gets rid of like the bumps that I get underneath my skin. So next, after that, I'm going to be moving on to the Honey Serra Cream from Etude House. This just helps with the dryness that my skin has right now. And this helps my skin just feel really nice and it also smells really good, so I really love this cream. Next, moving on to concealer, I'm using NARS in Medium Dark 3. And I'm using my VT Puff to just blend it in. And next, I'm moving on to foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And I'm using it in the shade 410. Now the foundation looks a little bit lighter on camera than it does in person. So just keep that in mind. I know it may look like I'm using foundation too light for my skin. Next, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. foundation palette to highlight my nose, my cheeks, my chin, Cupid's bow, and my brow. Next, I'm going to be using my Fenty Matchstick in Truffle to contour my nose and just right below my hairline. And next, I'm going to be using my Black Radiance palette just to set the foundation. So now, I'm going to be dipping into my e.l.f. bronzer and highlight palette, and I'm just going to be highlighting my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and the corners of my eyes. Next, I'm going to go straight into eyeshadow. I'm just actually using a uh, red from this blush palette that I bought a really long time ago. But it works really well for me because I usually don't need to wear primer with it. And it's really pigmented. So next, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use my brush to brush them towards my ears. And then I'm going to outline my brow shape with this Color Impact Liquid Liner. Next, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark. 
And then I'm just going to blur the inner corners of my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to go back to my bronzer palette and I'm just going to add some highlight under my eyebrows and then under my eyes as well. Next, I'm moving on to my liquid eyeliner. So I always use ink liner because it just tends to last a bit longer. But I'm just going to draw my eyeliner as thin as I can possibly make it. Next for mascara, I am still using my CoverGirl Fibers Mascara. This is the best for me because it makes my tiny eyelashes look a little bit less tiny. Next, moving on to blush, I'm going to use the same color that I used for my eyelids. Uh, this time I'm just going to be putting it on my cheekbones and also a little tiny bit on my nose as well. So now moving on to lips, I'm actually going to be combining two colors for this lip look. First, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Give Me Mocha. And then I'm going to be using Cloud Ink Velvet in Reddish Rose. So the liquid cat suit is a matte lipstick, so when the matte dries, it becomes like a really pretty red. So that is it for the makeup, so now let's just add some finishing touches. Um, I'm going to be wearing this wig, this is my go-to wig right now. And I'm just going to be holding it down with Got To Be Glued hair gel. Now I'm going to be adding some earrings. I just bought these cross earrings the other day and I think they're really cute. And then I'm going to be adding my point for today, which is going to be this ruffle color, which I got from Osu, which is like a really cool used clothing area in Nagoya. So yeah, this is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is my go-to makeup right now. I think it looks pretty cute. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!